why Ripstream is really the question. Where did the name come from? And Frank's referred to it. So it's really, it's an obvious musical analogy. And, and the whole point of it is we're trying to accelerate the creation of new business, okay? So those of you who are guitarists here or have uh, dabbled, you know, will know that you can play a chord on the guitar, you can play a single chord, and you may play multiple chords, uh, those of us who are slightly more able, and, you know, may create a riff. But ultimately, you know, the way you create musical composition is to riff, try multiple riffs. You audition, you uh, have uh, performances where you interact with other people, and so this idea of the riff stream is we want to try and create the environment in which um, you know, a chord, which is a concept or an idea, can mix with another concept or an idea. And, and I'm not just talking about technology ideas, I'm talking about technology mixing with, with business models, with market needs. So, so that's, that's the objective, so hence riff stream. Okay, and the, the other thing I want to really talk about is the work that we've been doing, trying to understand where the problems are in terms of funding of businesses in, in the UK economy and more generally in the global economy. There are, we, we've, we recognize three different chasms, hurdles, if you like, or valleys that you have to cross in order to achieve success. And the first one is where you take a concept and turn it into a prototype. We actually have quite a lot of funding. There's lots. We're very good at that. We're very good at taking an idea and banging out the first prototype. Uh, we also, there's no shortage of money once you have a well-established business model at the other end because if you've taken the risk out, then the venture capitalists and the banks are all queuing up to give you money. The problem is that area in between, what we call chasm two. And that's where we want to focus our firepower. And in terms of chasm two, we think that's the biggest challenge. And so all these, so that you find most people here have got a small business, they've developed a concept or an idea. They're a long way from being able to go and see a venture capitalist or go and see a bank to borrow money because they have a proven business model. What they really want to do is to try and uh, really shape their product service proposition in a way where the business model is sustainable and also understand how they're going to take it to market. So that's our, our thrust with, uh, with uh, Riffstream in, uh, in the creative industries. And you'll see here on this graph, you'll see all the different ways in which money goes in. And what you see is there's this big hole in what I call, we call chasm two. And just so you know how much detail there is, we've actually done quite a lot of thinking about this. What are the issues around how you've tackled Chasm 2? And these slides will be up online on the riffstream.net site along with short video clips and some tagging and stuff. So the key message is this is not just a one-off workshop. This is the start of a journey. And so stuff from the first Riffstream in Cambridge, this one, and then subsequent events, we'll be trying to curate this in an online environment and where people can have an ongoing dialogue. Okay, so, so that's all I want to say um, at this point. Um, and a few words about how we're organizing the presentations. Now, we have some rules, ground rules, and, and you might think they're brutal, but we really want to encourage people to talk for no more than five minutes. So we've said to everybody presenting, either giving a viewpoint or to presenting their business, five minutes, short, sharp, and we want to try and encourage some dialogue here. And at some and various points during the process, I propose to stop and let you do some work by using flip charts around your tables, right? So we can debate and discuss. But that'll depend on the level of interaction and what people want to do. So in a sense, I'll let you drive that or guide me on that.